All right. So here we are at Free Code Camp's main page, all right? Um, it's about that it's about that time of year. It's the beginning of August or the beginning of the middle of August. School's starting back up, fall semester, whatever, right? Some of you want to start coding. You some of you want to do it for free, like I, like me, pardon me. Uh and look, I know the best way to do it. Well, I know I don't know, I don't know if it's the best way, but I know the way I did it, all right? So if you want to learn how to code for free, best resources available, uh, free code camp is start, right? What you want to do is you want to come here and you want to go to, you're going to have to like sign up and all that stuff. That's why I'm on this page. Uh, because the main page looks like this. Okay, so you know what it looks like. All right, so once you're here, we've got this responsive web design certification, right? So we click this, we go in here, we've got this cat photo app to start with, and you see we're going to be making something like this, okay? Uh, so there's going to be all these steps in order to make the thing. And at the end of the day, it's going to look just like this right here, uh, where we can like check outdoor, indoor, lazy, energetic. Uh, we can put a picture in there if we want to, if we feel like it. Is that what we, what we can do? Please fill out this field. Okay, I don't know what it what it is. Anyway, so we're gonna pretty much be doing this, and then we just keep going through um, to the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Uh, I've got videos for all these. If you look at, if you got any trouble with these, and then you get take you come down and you uh, take care of all these. Then the next thing you want to do, you don't want to go to this next one in their list. What you want to do is you want to scroll down here to legacy responsive web design challenges. Okay, not that either. Legacy JavaScript algorithm, algorithms and data structures. I've never done this one, actually. Um, so this will get to the next part because this, this first thing talks about like CSS and HTML. You'll, you'll understand what that means later. Uh, and then the next part is this JavaScript, uh, legacy JavaScript, whatever, okay? And we just go through this, it's 113. Uh, these are all school style, like the other one's project style. This is gonna be school style right here. So we go and take care of all 113 of these. And by the time you're done with this and this one, okay, and there's also yes, yeah, six regular expression debuggings, basic data structures, all this stuff right here. I've got videos for all of them and these projects as well. Uh, you take care of these. And the thing is, if you're if you're like me, you'll you'll be able to fly through these, no problem. I mean, you'll you might have to go like look some stuff up here and there, but you should be able to fly through these, especially these, because I've got the videos for all these ones right here. I've got the videos for all of these, honestly, up. Uh, but, and it should take like a month, maybe, I don't know, two or three weeks, depending on depending on how much time you have to take care of this. Uh, but the thing is, you will notice that you might not have actually grasped this, because look, remember, Computer science is like a four year degree, right? Four. There we go. It's a four year degree, a four year uh, college degree, right? So the thing, the thought about getting all this in your head in a month. Yeah, right, right. Okay, cool. But you will get familiar with it. And the thing is, once you're familiar with it, it's time to come over here to Code Wars, okay? This Code Wars is probably the best, uh, the most important resource available. This stuff is all right. But it's a lot. It's really handholdy, and you're never going to actually seriously know what you're doing. But then you come over to Code Wars, and you do stuff like this. Okay, so I've already signed up. I don't even know what the main page looks like. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't even send me there. But uh, we come over here to practice, and we can like search by these ranks, right? Eight Qs, the easiest, and it goes all the way down to one Q, right? So we want to do the eight Qs first. So we'll come over here, difficulty eight Q like this. Oh, whatever. AQ like that. And you see all these AQs and you can see these little ratings too. Um, there's so many of them. Like there's 385 of these. I've done all of them pretty much. Like actually, I think it was like 370 when I was done. But anyway, whatever. They, they add some from time to time. But regardless, you can see these ratings. Uh, it's good to do like the 90s first, like all the 90s first and the 80s and the 70s and the 60s, something like that. Just something to really get your, uh, get an understanding of what's actually going on. Like we've got this even or odd here and it's got a 91%. And 
It is create a function that takes an integer as an argument and returns even for numbers, for even numbers and odd for odd numbers, right? So we would uh, train again. I've already done this one. But uh, create that function. So what we would do is say uh, number if, we, let's do it if, say, if number mm, two. Okay, so if there is a remainder for this, we'll say return odd. And then else, we'll uh, return even. Let's see if this works. Test it out. Come on. Return O. Return the string odd, even odd. Okay, let's make it capital also. And then the string even. Let's see if this works. Test it. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So yeah, these are basically how you do these. Uh, and then you submit it or attempt it and it works. And then you submit it. And you get to see all the uh, answers of everybody else afterwards. Man, this slide is slow. Was it always this? Oh. And then some guy draw, draws a little helix sword. It's that this is Code Wars, right? But I tell you, this is the best. This is definitely the best one to learn actually how to do this stuff. Oh, we should have done it like this, honestly. But whatever. Regardless. So once you've gone through to about uh, 6Q and you don't have to do like once you get to 7Q, watch this. Once you get to 7Q, come on. Huh? You can see you've got like 1,900, almost 2,000, okay? Uh, and when you get to 6Q, we've got, let's see how many we got here. Over 2,000, okay? So you just pick up just pick up the 90s, honestly, when it comes to the 7Qs and 8Qs. I mean, 7Qs and 6Qs because, like, there's so many of them, okay? Like, I don't even, I don't even want to go through any of these right now because they're so hard. Uh, and then they just get harder. This is like the people that can slam these out are people that have been doing this for like 10 years. Okay. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, go do some eight, six cues, learn how to do that. And then come back over here to uh, free code camp again. Once you're done with that, then it's time to do JavaScript algorithms and data structures, beta certification. Okay. This is, uh, this will give you more of a, uh, of a look on how to actually set up like a, a website JavaScript. Here's some website JavaScript right here. And it takes, it does this right here. Um, and they keep adding, whatever. Anyway, and I've got pretty much all the videos for these. All these blue ones, I definitely have videos for. Uh, these black ones, they just keep adding them after the fact. So, you know, I'm not gonna redo the, a whole 118 just videos just because they added what? eight, nine, no, not happening. Anyway, regardless, so you come do this, and then after that, you should have a pretty good idea of what uh, coding is. This should take about two or three months uh, with the videos as well. You should have a pretty good idea of, of what coding is and where you wanna go from here. Like personally, I'm trying to go into uh, machine learning. So I skipped, so I pretty much skipped all this stuff right here and just went straight to the scientific computing with Python uh, because, you know, I want to do machine learning and this all this stuff is for website building. OK, and I'm just I don't know. I don't care about that. Uh, so there. So, yeah, let me get this little thing up right here. So long story short, here's the steps for learning for free, learning this stuff for free. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, learning coding for free. All right, take a screenshot. Give you give, take a screenshot of this right here. So this is what we do. We're gonna go to responsive web design. Then we'll go to legacy JavaScript algorithms and data structures. You gotta scroll down for that one. Yeah. I'll write scroll down just in case. Scroll, no, I'm not. It's gonna ruin it. Uh, then we go to Code Wars 8Q to 6Q. Back to free code camp for JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, and then choose your specialization, whether it's uh, machine learning or website building or video game stuff. 
uh, you can pretty much go through from there and and do your research on your own. You'll be into this like two, three months. So you'll you'll be, I don't know, kind of aware of what's going on. Uh, other thing about this is we've got some tools that these are some tools that I use all the time. I use chat GPT. OK, because like this thing, free code camps, great. But the thing is, there's no real index or glossary of the terms. But if you remember basically what the term did and tell chat GPT, it'll come up with what the method is. And you'll 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 know what I'm talking about when you do it. Also, we've got this MDM web docs. Uh, this will, if you don't want to use ChatGPT and you want to look it up the old fashioned way, MDM Web Docs has pretty much everything you need to know, advanced elements, everything you need to know about JavaScript. And when it comes to HTML and CSS, W3 Schools has it pretty much locked down. We've got HTML images, links, CSS colors, whatever, 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 all in the HTML. And we can also do CSS somewhere else. Um, and you'll know what all this stuff means when you do it. So yeah, 2024, time to get it going. Uh, time to get time to get our uh, learn on. <laughs> time to start learning again. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking for it, this is the way. In my opinion, this is the way. Okay, there might be other ways. I'm not really big on like going to like Reddit and forums. And stuff like that. So there might be cooler ways. I don't know. I don't know. But as as far as me and what I found, this is what I found. Right. So anyway, so there's that. Uh, come and check out uh, responsive web design. Just type in all you got to do. Honestly, if you want to find my video on any of these, let's go to nutrition label. Let's go to forty six. Uh, let's type in. Watch this. Let's get this. Copy this here. Come over to a new one. Step 46, step 46. And you can see we've got Codeman as practice videos right here with a 46. Who is this? I got another rival. And then I've got another one right here. I got I got a lot of them. Uh, so I got a lot of rivals too. Who's this? I got to add this person. But I'm not on my main page. Um, anyway, so I got to add this person later. Anyway, so there's that. So that's all you got to do to find this. Uh, other than that, go over to that one and we'll see you next time.